What's up guys, welcome back to another LumaFusion video. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how we can face track just like in After Effects, but we're gonna make it in LumaFusion, so stay tuned. Bitch, I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something that's what Prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins that's all but my run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone in progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone in affection, I summon and dub it, cause bitch I got. Prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins that's all but my run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone in progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone in affection, I summon and dub it, cause bitch. And as we get into LumaFusion, you can see that this is the video file and the music clip that I used to create this face tracking effect. This video sequence is taken from the Old Town Road music video. And the reason why I chose this sequence is that this sequence really fits the face tracking that we're about to make. So what we're going to do now is to tap on the icon to the left of the scissors and then choose overlay title. This will place an overlay title exactly at the spot where we have our marker and we want to have the overlay start exactly right before she starts to do any movements and we want to make a cut to the text right before she gets out of the frame. So once we've done the cutting parts, we can also make the main track into uh, three pieces as well, as you see here in this example. And this will allow us to only work with the parts of the video that we need to work on. The next thing we do is to go into edit on the text layer, and then we delete your text here. Then we're going to add an oval shape and resize it to a pupil. So once you resized it to the form of a pupil, you're going to change the placement to over the eye. Then you're going to scale it down so it gets as close to the size of the pupil as possible and you're going to try to center it inside her eye. Make sure to take your time when placing the oval shape over her eye and also make sure that you're at the beginning of the clip. So once you place the oval shape over the eye, we're going to go into edit on the main track. And here you need to make sure that your indicator is at the start of the clip. And what you're going to do is to make a keyframe at the beginning and then move a couple of frames, like five, six frames until the person really starts to do the movement and then make another keyframe. On this keyframe, we need to scale in a little bit to avoid all the black spots around the video file. And once you've done that, you move a couple of more frames, two or three frames, and then you adjust the position of the video clip. And make sure to adjust the position of the video clip so the oval shape is always centered in the person's eye. And another tip, as you can see in this video file, is that she is moving her head up and then suddenly to the left or right. What I recommend is to stop right before she goes to either left or right and then make a keyframe. So you take one direction at a time. This really helps speeding up the process as well. But I also recommend once you're done that you go back to the start and scroll through using the frame by frame button and do the adjustments. If you really want this to be as perfect as you can and really have the same quality as you can get in After Effects, I really recommend that you go frame by frame and adjust the video clip accordingly. This will absolutely give the best result at the end and if this is something that you want to have in your video, this is the only way to go. And make sure to take your time while doing this. This might be time consuming, but the more time you spend correcting frame by frame, the better the end result will be. And once we start to close up on the keyframing, we can go out to the timeline and we can see how the effect turned out and if we're happy with the final result.
And once we're happy with the result, the next thing we can do is to delete the text overlay. This will remove the white circle which we have in our frame. And as you can see, we had some black bars on the bottom of the video as well. And you can easily remove this by adding some crop bars. Personally, I have already made some cinematic bars, which I have saved as a preset. This is something that you can do as well for easy access to the cinematic bars. I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them I run through the money the press will be calling left on my blessings I feel like I'm falling the birdie is back tell me I'm garbage I'm going through something that's what I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems, on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone in progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone in affection, I summon it double. So I know what you're gonna say. This method is really time consuming, and yes, it is. But if you make it for a music video, or if you this is gonna be a part of your project, it's worth spending the time to do it properly. And you also saw the LumaFusion face tracking versus the After Effects face tracking. And if you ask me, they kind of look the same. And the reason for that is also the footage being very fast. So the faster the footage is, the easier it might be to make in LumaFusion rather than After Effects, because if it's super fast, you might have to do frame by frame in, in tracking in After Effects anyway. So if you have After Effects, go test it out, make one in uh, Luma Fusion and take the same footage and make one in After Effects and you will see that it gets pretty similar and it does that with any shot as long as you do the keyframing properly in Luma Fusion. So let me know what you think of this method and if it was too time consuming or if you will test it out or if you will use it in your video. And if you're going to use it in a video project, please email me the link to that project once that is uploaded to YouTube because I really want to see how you nail this effect using Luma Fusion. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe smash that notification bell give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and you can also share the video to show your support and i'll see you guys in the next one peace i'm calling the birdie is back tell me i'm garbage i'm going through something that's why i ain't calling phone in progression it's all that i wanted a phone in affection i summon and dub it